Hello friend, welcome to Tech LT World. So this is the second video on mplane for Oran series. In last video, we, we discussed briefly about mplane. So today we will discuss the mplane functional description and interfaces of mplane in Oran. So going forward, so what is the mplane functional description? So in mplane basically provide the following major functionality to ORU. So feature are implemented using netconf uh, provided function. So what is so what is the first function? So first function of mplane is startup installation. So startup installation means what is the meaning of this thing? So see in our in our ORAN architecture. So suppose this is RU, right? This is RU. So he, RU is connected with one switch. Right? This is switch. switch and switch is connect means here du is connected with switch so this is, uh, see, switch mostly juniper cisco many uh, switch provider companies there so this one is du so here du is called as a netconf netconf client client and ru is netconf server netconf server so once RU will came up, so what is the first thing RU will do? So because see this one ORAN came for plug and play kind of uh, stuff, right? So RU will just once switch on and RU will try to uh, try, try to obtain the IP address, right? So first task is obtain the IP address. So obtain the IP address. But how are you can obtain the IP address? There can be two methods. Either you can do a static IP configuration, either by using DSCP server, right? So you people are knowing like DSCP dynamic host control protocol will provide the IP address to this RV, RU. So RU will contact with DSCP server, then DSCP server will assign the R, assign the IP address. After that, it will once the very first process is process is just obtain the IP address. Then second process do the call home. So call home, what is the call home? So people are uh, confused li like what is call home? Call home means just uh, are you will came up and just shout. Oh, hello. Hello. Are, are you listening me? Can you can you respond me? Can you do some response to me? So can you establish a, a netconf, uh, netconf uh, uh, connectivity? Right. So this feature is initiated by are you right? So so it, uh, after after call home, then do you will reply for that call home? function right so do you will reply oh yes i am i am listening you right so for the for that thing we have a protocol netconf protocol so netconf protocol having some set of rules so based on those rules are will uh, coordinate with du and du will coordinate with re so very first functionality are uh, uh, so the second functionality of mplane function is software management so what is software management basically so software management uh, consists like software download, installation, validation, activation of new software is done by mplane means whenever requested by ORU controller. So software down, download triggered by netconf or PC procedure, software package download is done by using SFTP. So I will explain one by one. So so what it means uh, if factory build are you there, right? So factory build, initially factory build are you will be there. So that RU will consist factory loaded software. So that is older software. So once RU will came up, so RU will try to try to down try to upgrade the with latest software. So that can be that means the first once RU will came up, then it will try to download the software with a specified server. That is specified server information will came via mplane right and plane configuration setting right so it will it will download install and validate means it will validate if if the software is working fine or not if not working fine then it will again reset to the factory build so and that is definitely that is uh, depend upon your uh, vendor to vendor but most of the vendor is following this procedure so next one is the software download triggered by netconf rpc procedure so what do you, what do you understood by this thing Suppose means R will uh, uh, periodically download the software, but if you if you want forcefully do some some uh, download procedure, so in that case you can initiate the netconf RPC procedure. Netconf RPC procedure means remote procedure call. Remote procedure 
call so nowadays so nms we can initiate this thing by nms nms is network management network management function right so by nms you can you can control nms by gui so nowadays like many company providing nms so you can just initiate trigger from there just something some button is some fancy button will be there just you, you need to just click and that by, by uh, doing those click so our backend will be backend backend uh, connect network connectivity will trigger the netconf procedure so in that netconf procedure some standard form some standard format is there by by receiving those netconf rpc remote procedure call that is something kind of command it will receive by ru and ru will start to start downloading the software so next one is the software download I means uh, all the software package download is done by using sftp server sftp uh, protocol right so simple file transfer protocol right so if people are aware about file trans transfer protocol so this is the software management uh, functionality of mplane next one is the configuration management so configuration management means everyone if if you are working in telecom domain so you people must be aware about software uh, configuration of uh, your cell cell data right suppose you want to configure some pci suppose you are con configure some pci you want to configure new erfcn generally this is uh, a static parameter but just for example means i am i am telling you generally any operator doesn't change their erfcn right but you can change and apart from like pci you can change right suppose if you get get some pci confusion then you can change the pci now but nowadays that thing also optimized uh, so some so due to sound feature <clears throat> so you you can change the bandwidth so whichever parameter bandwidth and uh, yeah, any many thing you can change many thing means whichever uh, cell configuration file you might be aware about all the cell configuration data so whichever data you, you want you can modify right so that is called configuration management and suppose configuration management is suppose you want to do some some tilting some electrical tilting that is that you can done uh, do by here you want to change the, the some a3 offset right a3 offset a5 offset for handover related right so all those things you can do by configuration management so that is also triggered by means so that is also handled by mplay right next one is the performance management so performance man management is just nothing but just collecting the kpi kpi data right so there are performance measurement management performance measurement counters are there so those measurements and counters we can fetch by mcom uh, uh, mplane mplane session mplane uh, through mplane right so by initiating the, the rpc or netconf uh, uh, what we can say netconf uh, uh, client and server model you can initiate subscribe right so generally this performance management management is done by netcom subscription model right so you can subscribe something and those related performance parameter will be regularly uh, uploaded to the server right so this is the in this will came into performance management so similarly fault management that is also a next step so the fault management is means as name suggests like this is the responsible for sending the alarm notification to the netcom client so here netcom client is either du or your nms right so in last session we have discussed right means how nms and du uh, means netcom uh, means how nms and uh, du can act as a netcom client right so next one is the file management so file management is also performed by uh, netconf i mean so we can we can handle by mplane through netconf session so you can do this thing also like right means how your file will be stored is might be your file kpi data your cell configuration data everything means how you can store in in ru that can be also uh, handled by mplane okay so this is all about mplane functionality in brief so going forward we will discuss in upcoming session we will discuss the in depth with log uh, log example so uh, wait for uh, next session so as of now implant functionality implant functionality is this one so next one we will discuss the implant interface so what is your implant interfaces so implant interfaces means means how your ru is connected with implant suppose here net count client this is the du here client right so here right here your server this is ru ru is act as a server right. 
how this connection means see there are physical connection is there so physically might be this thing connected with uh, fiber cable right fiber cable most of the th most of the time fiber cable is there so we need to just insert some sfp right so some sfp here but on uh, top of that means what is the logical connection over there so logical connection so if you aware about osi layer model right so in osi layer model seven layered architecture is there right so similar architecture is means a little bit similar with uh, m plane interfaces also so top layer is netconf layer so netconf is network configuration layer so if you analyze those thing by in by wireshark log so we'll show those wireshark log so in wireshark log if you if you check the uh, this this uh, netconf netconf interface log right so you can see so top top layer is netconf layer then second top layer is ssh means netconf is the top layer right so here the main address is your your uh, client address and and server address right so second one is the ssh so uh, do you will do ssh ssh you, you might be aware like how you are you can ex you, you people must be aware about how you you are doing uh, ssh with uh, e node b by using putty right putty or mobile extra there are many software you can use so you are generally how you are giving ssh command uh, sudo at the rate ssh ssh sudo at the rate something 10.192.x.y dot dot right so something like this you, you are doing and after that you will add the password after means similarly this ssh, SSH is a uh, uh, functionality of ssh is similar similarly for m plane also right so top top layer is netconf then ssh then tcp then ip then ethernet then physical layer so here physical layer is your your uh, fiber cable right so that's all this one is all about your m plane interfaces so so thank you thank you all so like our channel like our video and subscribe and wait for next session we are we are continuously we are working for those things so we'll uh, see you for next in next video of oran series for m plane okay thank you